Hello. Today I want to talk about a film I saw last week in the theaters. Um, and because <clears throat> it was uh, nominated for like seven Academy Awards, and one of the <clears throat> films it was up for was Best Picture, and they like to show Best Picture nominated films up until before the Academy Awards, and so. Uh, saw it uh, last week and uh, um, and I didn't know the film was actually out on blu-ray because otherwise I would have gotten it for this uh, uh, video because I actually enjoy it quite a bit um, and this film is of course uh, Belfast um, it's uh, written directed and co-produced by Kenneth Brenna whom I I, I like his work. I think he's an incredible actor and filmmaker. Um, some of his Hamlet, like Hamlet and other Shakespeare films are truly excellent. Uh, I think Hamlet's probably my favorite Shakespeare film he's done. It's long. It's like four hours. Um, but this uh, this film, um, and I have uh, the cast uh, listed because I want to make sure I get people's names right. Um, uh, First off, this film is about the uh, troubles. Um, uh, to realize, uh, late 1960s, like of the troubles time where um, Protestants and Catholics were fighting in North I England. You know, this story particularly takes place in Belfast, which is where Kenneth Brenner is from. And it's sort of, sort of, it's sort of like a autobiography of sorts. Um, Jude Hill, who's this is his first film, plays Buddy, and uh, he's the central character who we really follow. Um, his brother Will, played by um, Lewick, Lewis McGaskey, it'd be great if I could talk properly. Um, and his parents are played by Katerina Belfi, um, I believe is the pronunciation, uh, Jamie Doring. Um, uh, those are his mom and pa. Uh, Judy Dench plays Granny, and, uh, Kieran Hines plays Pop. Um, those latter two, uh, not nominated for Academy Awards. They did not win. Um, but Kenneth Brenna was nominated for three Academy Awards himself for Best Picture and Director, which he did not receive, but he won original screenplay. And I think he deserved it. He, he uh, it's, it was truly an, an incredible film. You know, I, I had heard in, uh, here and there that about what happened in Belfast and most part of Northern Ireland um, during that time regarding this division and you know gangs forming and we see uh, that happening and. You know, people get their uh, uh, windows and uh, uh, properties smashed. Like, you know, the, the, like that's a, I guess, like overtly, prominently, I guess, a Protestant neighborhood. You know, Buddy and his family are like Protestants. And, you know, then there's those people who are against like, uh, Catholics. And so they're breaking Catholic window the windows of the people who are catholic and just very violent this happens you know fairly early on you know we see buddy and see some stuff he's having fun with his friends and all and then you know it's like you know overall most people don't really care if their neighbors are like catholic or protestant like you know if one's protestant if they're a protestant family they don't care if their neighbors are catholic and vice versa but this becomes a big uh, divisive uh, thing, of course, and um, <clears throat> people want them like like his parents, uh, uh, Buddy's dad is. You know, he has to go to England for his job, and he tries to come back like every weekend, basically, you know, to spend time with his family. And they go to see films and stuff, and it's it's very. Uh, it's it's very uh, very good film very you know even moving film it's a you know one that's just, I don't know it's just it was just 
just really well done. It gives you, it does definitely uh, show a period of time where there was a lot of division in Ireland and um, how there are those who were for being, you know, divided and trying to get, you know, people who weren't of their religion out of like, their neighborhoods and all that stuff. And then those who aren't fond of it, they fond of this division, they don't want this to be a thing, but it is, and it's like they're trying to deal with it the best way they can. You know, and so many have families and they don't want to <clears throat> up and, you know, uproot their families because, you know, you know, times are hard, and, you know, if one's able to have a job, they're lucky. Some people aren't even ha able to have a job. Um, and there's payments they have to do, and it's, that's just, you know, trying to get by. It, it, you know, it's, it's very hard, it's, you know, and, uh, you know, and, you know, he, you know, his dad has, you know, has an offer to be able to, if they move to England, they'll have a, bigger house, bigger, you know, place, to, a bit nicer place to stay than they are currently, and they are, you know, you know, they can leave and they can have a better life. I'm talking about, like, you know, of course he works in England, so there's that, but then there's also, like, Australia, and there's, like, yeah, family members in Australia, and so it's, like, this discussion, and, you know, Buddy doesn't want to leave because, you know, there's this girl he likes in school, and he's, you know, he's nine in the film. But, you know, he doesn't want to leave, you know, and, you know, he also has friends. And so it's like, you know, it's like a discussion of whether they will or won't. And, you know, you know there's this thing, like, you talking to people, like, you know, about gangs and, like, how do you get into a gang? That's a secret, you know, like, unless you're actually going to be in it, you can't really tell you unless you actually are. They want you, unless you want to be in a gang, you aren't. You know, it's like, you know, it's going to be a bit of a secret. And how many are there? Well, that's a secret, too. And what do you do, talk about that? It's like, it's all a secret unless you're in the gang. Um, and it's just a very good film. Um, you know, it. And considering the age of Kenneth Brenna in real life, it's obvious Buddy is essentially like a substitute for himself in a way. You know, you know, the character is nine. He was like eight or nine during this, all this going on. So, you know, and since he's Irish, you know, it, it definitely really feels very personal to him. You know, it's. I found it to be very. Just very well done, very good, and I think it's also quite moving at times, you know, throughout the film because of the situations the characters are in, and it's like you just can't help but feel for them, and you want the best. And, you know, as the film goes on, you know, you, you see what happens, and it's one that I'm glad I saw, you know. Again, I'll, I'll probably get it sometime next week, um, the film on Blu-ray. But this was a really uh, excellent film. I, I, don't know, I, I, I could just, I guess, give it as much praise as I could. Um, but then we'd be here forever, and I don't want to be doing that. I just want to give my quick thoughts and how I enjoy this film. And I was happy to see it in the theater. I think it was really worth it. It was one that, you know, I, I probably would have still gone to see it on the big screen, even if. You know, I had the Blu-ray. Um, but I guess considering I didn't know it was on Blu-ray at the time, I guess probably made it better. Um, but this is an excellent film. Um, glad Kenneth Brenner won an Academy Award. Um, cast is excellent. All the Everybody involved did a great job. Um, even the people I didn't... Uh, Say because there's so many and great people, and it's it's truly an amazing film. Um, yeah, 
it's very personal as you watch it you can tell and um, that's not a bad thing I uh, you know I don't think um, I guess some people aren't too fond of some movies that are, seem to be personal because it's I guess it can be a bit much at times like perhaps if it's supposed to be very moving it could be a little much and it's obvious what they're trying to do you know as opposed to just letting things play out and then you'll feel the proper emotions um but i think this was a excellent film um very good job and i'm happy to have watched it um and when i get it i'll watch it again um what do you think of this film do you enjoy it do you dislike it or are you somewhere in between um do you think it deserved the Academy Award it received? Do you think it shouldn't have won any? Or do you think it should have received more? Um, I think it will... Uh, you know, this is probably my, you know, my favorite film of those nominated. So it winning Best Picture and Director for me would have been nice. But that didn't happen. But I'm also glad it won screenplay. I think also at least Judy Dench. It would have been cool if she had won. Uh, for supporting actress um, but you know that happens sometimes people whom you like to see win something you don't and others who you wouldn't have thought would win or um, or at least a bit surprised one you know, you know they receive the award um, but yeah uh, that's really it um, it's a new month, obviously, April. And I hope uh, you had a great March. And I hope April will be great uh, for you. Uh, it's April Fool's, but, you know, I don't really know what the, what I would even do for a video like this. Like, you know, no, I didn't see this movie. I'm just, I'm just lying, making up things. I, I did see the film. Um, it's a great film. Um... I'm definitely going to watch it again as soon as I get it. Um, also, the music was really good. Uh, the, the, the score also was very well done, and the various songs. And uh, you go to see the f various movies throughout the film, so that was cool to see. And those are, you know, this film is in black and white, at the very beginning of modern day Belfast, and at the very beginning and end are in color, but then, you know, when there's they see a play or watching a movie in a theater, that's where actually color comes in. Um, otherwise, the film itself is just black and white. Um, but, yeah, that's another thing. On the off chance you didn't know a whole lot about this film, this, this is a black and white film. Um, I know there are people who don't like black and white films, um, so I guess that is something to keep in mind, but I think this is really good. Yeah. Anyway, I hope all of you are having a great day. Hope you all have a great weekend and a great week and a great month again. Um, and I will see you all next time. Bye.